Hello and welcome to the latest video on the Tableau for Sport series. Uh, this time I'm going to continue on from the last video in terms of the pass map. Uh, we've created the pass map, but I'm going to tidy it up and turn it into a dashboard and, and maybe add a few elements. And I will say I'm doing this live, no rehearsal of this one, so, um, so you can bear with me while I do some thinking as we go. Um, so let's see, where's my Tableau? Okay, so this is where we left off. We'd kind of created this pass map and, and a couple of filters um, over here. So I want to really tidy this up and turn this into something that you could pass over to, to a manager, to be honest, because uh, at the moment I, I think it's, it's quite messy. So yeah, so how would I go about cleaning this up? Well, I'm gonna get rid of some of the chart junk here. So I'm gonna get rid of the team name bit here. And I wanna get rid of these lines, this box around here. Uh, I don't need any of that. So let's go and format the lines. Grid lines are off. Axis ticks. And uh, let's go row dividers. Column dividers should be off. And that looks like everything there. Okay, I could probably hide this as well. And um, we can put this into the typo here. Uh, so we can actually put it in so I don't need need to type it out so we've got pass map team name and if you wanted to add in uh, like the match details you can but you have to add them to the viz here first okay so you see like I don't have like match ID or match date or anything like that uh, but if I was to add them to the viz then they will appear there so let's say match date let's put that onto the detail and then go back into the header I can add in match date. Okay. And the advantage of doing it this way is you now have a dynamic title. So for example, if I was to swap this to be Tottenham, I now have a dynamic title. So it's pass map for Tottenham on the given date. Okay. So a little bit, uh, a little bit better. Okay. Uh, the other thing is I'm going to clean up some of the colors here and certainly the tooltip. So the tooltip is just what gets added. So anytime you add a dimension or a measure to a viz, it gets included in the tooltip. But this is a bit complicated and there's stuff in here that we don't really need. There's stuff that's duplicated and, and all that kind of stuff. So let's tidy up the, um, the tooltip. Okay. So again, anything in the data, anything in the angle bracket, sorry, is data. So the stuff I want is probably this so who made the pass from and to which is the calculated field we made and um, let's put the pass outcome down here and I don't really think I need anything else at the moment so like knowing the x y isn't important I don't think I need any of that so let's just bump this up to 12 and make it bold let's have a look at what that looks like So I think we could probably clean this up a bit. That didn't go bold. This went bold, which isn't what I wanted. Uh, so I probably want this one to be bold. Yeah, so Robertson to Mane, complete. Okay. Um, now, again, something you could do is tidy up the names here. Uh, yeah, you could tidy up and just take the last names. I won't actually do that now, but you could. Okay, so we've got Robertson to Mane complete. I think there's a few pass outcomes we could probably get rid of here. Uh, pass outcome name. So uh, I'm not worried about injury clearance and I'm not worried about unknown. All right. Um, otherwise, I think that's good. And then I'm going to probably change the colors. Now, I don't know exactly what I'm going to change them to yet, but let's have a look. So normally I try and kind of gray out some of these. So I would say let's go incomplete out maybe make this orange complete could be the blue and past to offside we'll make this kind of dark gray. Ooh, or maybe not the orange. Let's make it a kind of lighter gray. Okay, 
could mess around with that a little bit more probably uh, but again this is kind of personal choice yeah so they probably fade in a little bit into the background now again this this really works when you're you're looking at uh, one or two players here uh, so a few more lines here to tidy up the format rulers, drop lines. Yeah, okay. So again, we've got no lines there. Okay, now another sheet I want to make is maybe a, a matrix here of, of these passes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new sheet and we're going to look at the player name. I'm going to look at recipient. Okay. Uh, and again, just make sure we're looking at passes. And, doo -doo -doo -doo, and then we want to look at the quantity. And again, I can use this count. So if you remember from the previous videos, I can use this count here to do that. So I'm going to take out the, we'll leave in the null recipient. Not entirely sure what they are, but you could check out the data. That's just me not understanding the data fully here uh, rather than anything else. Okay, so you can see here now I've run into difficulty. I don't want to make this table huge in terms of taking uh, all the players' names. So how would I tidy that up? So I'm going to right click on player name, I'm going to transform and I'm going to use this custom split. Okay, and I want to use a space, sorry, a space and I want the last column. It creates this new field for me, which should be the surname. Okay, now it's not perfect. Sometimes uh, I know Van Dyke doesn't come out with the van, but for, for this purposes, I'm, I'm happy enough. You could spend a little bit more time cleaning that up. But you can see now uh, it's much cleaner. So we can call that player surname. And I could do the same on the recipient then. And it just makes it a bit easier to understand. Probably all know who we're talking about when we say surnames here. So again, transform, custom split, space, and last. And rename that to recipient. a little bit better okay uh, again we've got two teams here which doesn't really work so let's say we're filtering by one team at a time at the moment so Liverpool here I'm gonna make an entire view text I want to center and I'm gonna turn this into like a heat map now, I could show you how to do it over here, but I'm actually going to just cheat and use this show me top right corner. And it goes and does it for me. Okay. It's one of those. I don't really like using the show me. I don't like teaching it or, or anything like that. But this is one of those charts that's just much easier to use. Okay. So. I want to swap them around actually. So this is the passer. And this is the receiver here. Okay, so we can see that Robertson to Mane is a big link up, as is Arnold to Salah, which again you'd expect knowing these teams so well, but imagine scouting other teams that you're not you're not overly familiar with. And um, that can work quite well. Okay, so we'll call this a passing matrix. Okay, and now I'm going to put these two together into a dashboard. So let's take a look. And again, I'm doing this on the fly, so it may not be perfect, but it should be good enough. Okay. Now, so I want to make sure that these filters apply to everything on the dashboard. So if we do filter anything, 
it's working across both sheets. We probably want something with the legend. So I'm going to drop that down here and I can get the sort by make sure the title. Okay. Uh, don't need the table name and I don't need that. We do have a long list of players here. Okay, so you can see we've quite a big list of from and to. Uh, so what I actually might want to do is get this table to filter this. So get rid of this big list and somebody can just use the table here. So I'm going to try this, turn on as a filter. And let's see if I want to see the passes from Arnold to Salah. If I click the 26. You can see I get the passes here. Now something I've noticed is that it's counting this twice. So if you remember from the previous video, we actually duplicated the data. So something I want to do is go back here and just make sure that this is just from one table. Now that should be better. Let's just try that again. Let's see the 16 from Robertson to Mane. The left hand side there. Okay. And we can see then the 16 passes. So we can probably get rid of this big filter here. And you may even want to get rid of the, the team filter. This just might be the Liverpool page and you might duplicate the workbook on another page. So you now have a passing matrix that somebody can come along and see, well, Arnold to Henderson, what does that look like? Where are those passes? That kind of stuff. And you can select multiple here. So I could grab a bunch of these in the middle. Say I want all of Henderson, for example, I could just click on Henderson's name. It shows me all of Henderson's passes in that game. Okay. Uh, now you could add a title, a description of what's doing, and maybe even an explanation uh, on this table. So something that's very, very useful is click on the table to filter the chart below. All right. L I C K. Uh, and we'll make it a smaller font, make it italics. But again, just don't be afraid to tell people that, that that's there. Okay. Now you could mess around, you could uh, swap the pitch, and maybe if it's better side by side, probably does look a little bit better um, in terms of that way. Okay. Just if you do that, just make sure you check your pitch directions. Okay, so this is a really important point here. Uh, if you show the pitch that way, you don't want this Y axis inverted. I'll show you that now in a second. And it, it's always good to have a few players to check. So Robertson should be on the left hand side and he, and he is here. So I always have a couple of players that whenever I do this on a pitch that I check what it, what it looks like. So there's uh, Trent to Salah. Okay, so there's a passing map matrix with a dashboard and, and how the two can interact. So thanks very much.